Hey, everybody. Uh, in this video, I want to share with you uh, a little tip about how I pull my thread through the fabric. And you might be thinking, well, didn't you already do a blog post about pulling the needle through the fabric? And I did. <laughs> so you are correct. But this is going to be the step right, like immediately after that. Um, you know, in my classes, there's a lot of little tips that I give that are hard to convey in writing. And so I think it, it's really helpful to see it in a video. And there are also tips that may seem minor at first, and you may not feel like you need to do them. But I think that if you follow this tip uh, along with my um, my tip in my blog post, which is on my website, banjoflannel.com, um, I think it'll go a lot smoother for you, combining all of these small, small little motions that will help you um, stitch a lot easier. So I am going to first uh, do some stitching. I'm not going to do uh, too many stitches, just a few. Okay, so now my needle is out of the fabric. I'm going to show you what I don't want you to do. <laughs> um, at this point, this should be what it looks like, right? So if you followed my other tip about pulling your needle through the fabric, your hand with your silicone needle pullers on it should be holding on to the needle because you pulled the fabric away. Now, what I don't want you to do, and it's, and it's extinctual, I don't blame people for doing this because I would do this as well, but don't, at this point, you're not just going to pull up, right? Um, normally, if you're hand stitching, uh, doing some hand sewing, you might do that, right? You might make a stitch and then pull up on the thread completely towards you. Um, and let me, let me show you. So if I were to do that, then I do this. And then I just continue to have, and see how it starts to curl up. And I have a lot of puckering right here, right? Now... Again, like I said, this is kind of a minor point. You can smooth that out, right? And and it's perfectly fine. Over time, um, what I see is that if you do it that way, you know, this side here, this starts to curl up on you. And depending on how long your thread is, and if you pull up, you're just going to have a lot of curled up thread um, making you uh, agitated <laughs> because it's going gonna, it's gonna to make a little knot on you. And... I think the way that I tried to convey it in my classes is a, is going to result uh, in a better stitch, less frustration also. So I'm going to make some more stitches. Okay. My needle is through. At this point, I'm going to switch hands again. So I'm going to put the needle into my left hand. I'm right-handed. And instead of pulling up, I'm going to pull in the direction that I was stitching. So you already see, as compared to the previous stitches, this is already smoothing out better. Um, and then you also have this hand that's free to hold your thread. If you find that it is uh, curling up on you, you can hold the thread, making sure that it's straight. And then you have really nice stitches. I still, you know, pull the fabric a little bit to make sure it's smooth, but you don't have the same amount of puckering as you would otherwise. So let me let me do it another time um, the way I don't suggest it. So I'm going to make some more stitches here. Okay, my needle is out, and this is what I don't want to happen. You just immediately start to pull, right? So in this case, I didn't get a lot of knotting here, but this is very puckered. And then you can smooth it out, but it's just a lot easier if you go in the direction of your stitching. So let's do this one more time. I pull my needle out. I'm going to pull this way.
the motion is a lot smoother. Um, you're not going to get all that initial puckering. And again, like I said, it seems like a very minor point. But when I teach uh, this method, my patchwork sashiko method, I try to get the students to think holistically about what's happening. And if you do that, this is this little minor point here where you're pulling your thread through is part of that. So we keep minimal, minimal movement. Um, and when you're pulling your thread out, you're going to pull in the same direction as you were stitching. By the way, this palette, <laughs> this color palette here that I've been working with is called Peach Harvest. And you can buy this kit in my Etsy shop. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have questions, you can email me at banjoflannel.etsy at gmail.com. You can also follow me at um, on Instagram and Facebook at Banjo Flannel. And you can uh, visit me at banjoflannel.com. Thank you.